Okay. You good with the timer? Yep, yep. Take it away. Okay, my name is Jan Saasman, um, the CEO of France Inc. And we have a database called Allegro Graph, an RDF triple store. And we get a lot of customers that say, well, you're called a graph database, but you're not really a graph database because you don't do property graphs. So it's, it's something that I want to put an end to, so I made this very tiny little presentation. So we're doing a project for a big bank that saves the bank about $30 million a year in fraud detection, where we look at all kinds of interesting patterns that might indicate some kind of collusion or other fraud. One query could be, okay, find a circle of payments say within, San, within 10 miles of San Jose, uh, within the last day where the payments are more than $1,000. Yeah, so you mix geospatial, temporal, and all these other things. Now, normally, if you would do this, you would do it in a graph database, and you would have nodes, links between nodes. And what makes a property graph is that the, the links between nodes also have properties. Yeah, so here you see that this person pays the, oops. This person pays this person, but this pace relationship has some properties, this will have other ones, et cetera, et cetera. Now, in most great graph databases, this won't really scale because it's an aggregate query, yeah? A graph databases work fantastic if you start with one node and you do a fan out. But if you want to do a big aggregate query, then you're better off with something that like, works like a relational database, uh, or at least the principles of relational databases. And then most graph databases don't do much of geospatial and temporal. So what we did is, we in our graph database, we implemented um, the property graphs and hypergraphs, and then those property graphs we can uh, do with geospatial and temporal indexing, and then our query engine can deal both with the graph search and with the property graph. And for anyone that knows about RDF, who knows about RDF is in this audience? Oh, that's cool. So this is the way where you do it, where you use the fourth element of the triple to create a handle where you then hang everything, everything off. And actually, in our approach, you can even have property, property, property graphs because you can keep going. All right. So then once you have this, I can do queries in the W3C language for uh, RDF graph databases called Sparkle. And here's a query where we try to find a ring of payments where the first part of the query will try to find the circle. And when we find the circle, we also find the handles for the, the payments, and then we can look at the property graph for each of these links, and then we can say, well, it has to be today, and it has to be 10 miles off uh, San Jose. Yeah, so I can demo this, and I'll just show you how it looks like. I have still two minutes left. Oh, gosh, where's my link? Here it is. So we have this database put together, and then we created this query language where we actually can do graph search without writing any code. So basically, I can take, I can make variables, I can make links between variables, and then, so here I've tried to find a ring between A and B and C and D and E, and then back to A, and then just for fun, I want to have the, the property graph for this particular link, and so I get this here, and then I just can say, turn this into a Sparkle or Prolog query, in this case, I choose Sparkle, I do the query, and you see <coughs> this visual graph is turned into a Sparkle query. Here you get the results, and then I can visually inspect the graph to see what's actually going on. Does it make sense? All right, so going back to my presentation. So this morning, I actually talked about um, how we used Hadoop to extract data from this bank to put it into a Lego graph and do an analysis. We're now working with Intel, too, to make it easier to get these graphs out of Hadoop. And tomorrow, we'll talk more about my uh, geospatial indexing, and especially when you have moving objects in your database, how can you find these objects as soon as possible or as fast as you want? Okay, thank you very much. Okay.